something isn't my business, but I can't help worrying either. If you're heading out, I won't stop you. Just come let me know if it's trouble, all right? Make sure you don't stay out too late either. In our next story tonight, the mysterious graffiti master known only as Guernica has made yet another huge splash in public. Many experts have heralded the pseudonymous street artist as one of the top talents in the field today. However, Guernica's radical subject matter and selected sites for murals continue to upset their critics. Each massive work is completed overnight, including the latest piece spread across the security department headquarters. Despite their first mural appearing in Tokyo over a month ago, the artist's true identity remains unknown. Local police have been grappling with growing criticism at their inability to track down the artist. While at the same time, public support for preserving these murals only continues to rise. Oh, shut up. Why do you leave the TV on? you to come here right away. Oh no! I didn't ask you here for anything shady. Did you think I was going to mug you? I just saw something earlier that I think you need to see too. So I came across some pretty strange art and there's something especially surprising about it. Actually, I think it'll be quicker just to show you. This way, senpai. out to you right away. That mural. Don't you feel like there's more to it? Like it has a really important message behind it or something. All I know is when I first saw it, and even when I look at it now, I get this strange feeling. Of course, I could just be imagining it. Well now, color me surprised to think you two were the ones to beat me here. Akechi-san? What are you doing here? Hello, Yoshizawa-san. You as well. I admit, you never fail to impress. I hadn't expected you to look into this case as well. Oh, then perhaps you haven't heard. Graffiti like this has been all over the news lately. Really? I mean, this is certainly unique, but... The subject matter speaks for itself. The artist's M.O. is causing even more of a fuss. 
Recently, they've been splashing large murals like this one all over municipal buildings. At this point, I have to ask, do you two have anything to do with these? What? We'd never do something like this. <laughs> I'm only pulling your leg. The questions almost ask themselves. Call it a detective's habit. Whoever the culprit is, they've turned the entire city into a canvas to share their disturbing message. And, considering the number of unauthorized sites they've chosen, their legal troubles are piling up quick. What do you think is making the artists go to such extremes? Do you know their secret identity? Unfortunately, no one's got that far just yet. The artist could simply be doing this for kicks. Or it could all be part of a grand criminal conspiracy. Perhaps there are declarations of crimes that will be committed. Or maybe their attempts at exposing some social injustice. Sounds like there are all sorts of possibilities. Nothing but speculation so far. But as long as they keep trying to communicate, I feel compelled to investigate. I'd rather err on the side of caution than have it come back to bite us later. Now there's a detective for you. So, what have you sniffed out so far? <laughs> well, I've only just arrived on scene. Let's see here. To start, it'd be nice if we could glean any clues from the mural itself. Hmm, that's a toughie. Senpai, did you notice anything yet? You know, this actually is the first mural so far that's included one. Perhaps this is a new clue after all. Would you mind taking a closer look? Phantom thieves. Phantom thieves of hearts. Please, I... I need your help. I need your power to change the heart. in the wall? <laughs> I have to say, I doubt that's the case. He's either hearing things or fooling around, or maybe... <gasps> what the? The mural's glowing! No! How is this? It's sucking me in! you'd prefer I hadn't cut in? Senpai, you're not hurt, are you? <laughs> so, what's next? I suspect they're not interested in the conversation. <laughs> right. We'll take them down together. Yoshizawa-san also had this power. And I never thought you did. But does that mean 
Ketchison, you're also one of the fastest here. Well, we can discuss that once we've handled our current issue. Sound fair? Oh, right. <sighs> I think we're free to talk now. Let's see. So about a catchy son. Oh, and also where we ended up. Uh, what else? Let's take this all one step at a time. First up, as to your question whether I'm in the Phantom Thieves. Hmm. I suppose you could say that's a tentative yes. Hmm? What's he mean? Okay. Sounds like it might be a complicated situation. But I get the picture. I won't pry any further. I appreciate your understanding. That reminds me. Like I said before, I'm surprised by your ability. But you didn't react as if that was the first time you've seen Yoshizawa-san like this. Oh, I can explain that, if you don't mind. So, a while back... And that led to you awakening to your power. Quite interesting. Yes. Although, I ultimately declined a spot in the Phantom Thieves, for personal reasons. <laughs> Even if you're not a Phantom Thief, it's reassuring to know you can fight. Especially considering how the territory we've found ourselves in appears to have hostile forces. So you don't know where we are either? Is this not a palace of some kind? It's certainly a possibility, but I can't say for certain. Considering our appearances here, it's safe to assume we're in a cognitive world of some kind. <laughs> Something's approaching. Be upset. Chances are she's not. What was that? Right! It sounded like someone being attacked! I agree that we should investigate, but we're in unfamiliar territory. We should be especially cautious. Sure! We'll hurry cautiously! I think that's an oxymoron. Oh, we'd better stick together as closely as Catch up with her, shall we?
This is a massacre. How could that woman be so gruesome? What's wrong with her? Somebody needs to stop her. Right. I'm going to say something. Hey! Please stop hurting them! Huh? Did you just walk up to me and tell me what to do? I'm not trying to boss you around, but I can't just stand here and watch you kill people! Jerry, who even is this brat? That yammering of hers is extra annoying. How peculiar. The streets shouldn't be accessible to outsiders. The three of you, what are you doing here? We're merely a few passers-by. If we haven't been able to make heads or tails of this world, would you be so kind as to point us to the exit? Wait, no, akechi san We can't leave until we get them to stop hurting these people! Ooh, she's right. How's about I stop hurting them right now? <laughs> ah, Ganica. Struck yet again by inspiration? To be honest, I was getting bored with cooking the small fries. But with you here, I can perform a little experiment. Let's see if you bleed the same way the rest do. Oh dear. Sounds like peace isn't an option. I was hoping we could get through this more amicably. Do we really? We don't seem to have any other option. Unless you were planning to share how you bleed with her willingly. Get ready, people. Why are you making this so hard on yourselves? Just bleed out from me already. Well, why would we do that? We're trying not to get killed here. Chill. Chill. You know how this place is some kind of weird-ass world? We could splatter our guts all over this place. Just snap your fingers and everything's back the way it was. Huh? Is that really true? Sounds like rubbish to me. Perhaps you'd like to prove it on yourself first. <laughs> huh? Seriously? You jerk! You were trying to trick us! Ugh, no fun. Jerry, take out this trash for me. Always foisting the tough work onto me. What am I to do with you? Now, my dearies, finish them off! Senpai, Akechi-san, there are too many of them. Come on, put up a good fight for me. Oh, a solid show before you go out with a bang. Well, we're not going down so easily. But admittedly, we're in a rough spot. They clearly have the advantage. What do we do? That'd be the wisest move. We have no reason to take them on. It looks like their numbers are weaker over there. Maybe we can break through. You idiots. There's no escaping our forces. What? Huh? <laughs> what? Where did this hole come from? Come on. Not again. both over here. Looks like we were taken for another ride. On the bright side, we're not about to be killed anymore. Where do you think we are? It's so dark in here. Looks like none of you were hurt. Some real lucky kids. A mouse girl? No, a girl dressed like a mascot? So cute. And you are? We'll get to that. How about a thank you first, considering I just saved your tails. Does that mean... the hole we fell in, that was you? Sorry you got dumped here. I didn't have time to be choosy. Uh, oh no, not at all. We're extremely grateful. Well, as long as you're fine. I 
now to ask, just who are you guys? How do you not know this place yet? The streets are Guernica's territory. Nobody winds up here on accident. Not only that, you were able to square up with Guernica. I've never seen anyone else pull that off. It sounds as if you've been watching us for some time now. I sure have. Until today, I was Guernica's only real opponent. No one else has tried stopping her. So you've got to be pretty sneaky to survive in the streets. So you... you're all alone here? Yeah. Not for a lack of trying to save them. But things are different now. You three can actually fight. Except... I don't know whose side you're on. So don't make me regret saving you. Understood. Well, at the very least, we are not your enemy. That's right! Although, I guess we have no way to prove that. Nah, I was just messing with you. I saw you standing up to Guernica. That was proof enough. We may not have all the details, but I think I get the gist. If you wouldn't mind, I have some questions of my own now. First off, I'd like you to tell us all you know about this world. Am I right that Guernica is somehow involved in its existence? Yes, you are. The streets belong to Guernica. They were born from her heart. Seriously now, who are you guys? You're not just on the ball. You know too much. You talk like you're already used to places like this. Um, well, we... Yeah, we're used to this sort of thing. Used to this? By any chance, are you the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? How the heck did she know? Oh, good. My voice really did reach outside. I was worried this place was doomed. Your voice? Please come with me. There's something you need to see. Hold on. I still have quite a few questions. That's why I want you to see this. I think it would help explain things better. Got it. I'll take your word for it. Let me open another manhole. It'll be just on the other side. wanted to show you. Another mural. It's similar to the one we saw in Young and Jaya, too. Mm. Oh, she's our son. Is something wrong? So, I got this feeling back in Young and Jaya. Both that mural and this one make me feel sort of ill. No, that's not right. It's more like it's stirring up something bad inside me. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know why, but I find it hard to think this is just some normal artwork. It almost feels like it would consume me if I let it. Sounds like you're picking up on it. Yernika's true power. You know the awful, ugly feelings that can bubble up in the deepest parts of your soul? Yernika's art has the power to force those feelings to the surface and make them take over the entire mind. The overwhelming reaction doesn't only affect the viewers, either. They go on to spread their own seeds of destruction. By the time it's over, they're all dead. Hold on. Your description sounds awfully different from the Garnica I've heard of so far. What do you know about her, Akechi-san? Well, I know she's a street artist who's become world famous by this point. A street artist? Oh, I think I've seen her murals on the news. Doesn't she work anonymously? Yes, but the greater mystery is how she manifests her artwork in what seems to be a mere moment. If I remember correctly, she's also broken quite a number of laws to put up her murals. Certainly. Regardless of her artistic merit, Guernica has a great number of detractors, especially since her artistic philosophy is what's guiding her to her mural sites. How so? I've heard that rage is Guernica's primary driving force. The underprivileged members of society toil under poverty and discrimination. Supposedly, Guernica's works are an expression of her rage. Which is why she's willing to do whatever it takes to vent her anger with the privileged. That's why she's continued to gain support for her principles. 
Some people even refer to her by a nickname. The People's Punk, they call her. I didn't realize she was such a big deal. But... Yes. The Guernica we met here is wholly different. Just a trigger-happy psychopath. And if you're telling us that this is her cognitive world, that would mean the real Guernica is... No, that's all wrong! Her personality changed when she lost the most important thing to her. That's why... What was most important to her? The first statement she ever painted. Somehow, somebody stole it from her. So that's why Guernica's like how you saw her. Please, help me. You have to steal Guernica's first statement back! Hold on there. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's true, this isn't the first time we've been to a world like this. But I've never heard of a ruler going completely mad because they lost their treasure. Besides, we're only here because some inexplicable force pulled us into this world. While I believe I understand your situation, I'm afraid we don't have enough information to make any decisions. <sighs> Consider what you said earlier. You told us you didn't know whose side we're on. Well, we're in the same boat. I'll cut to the chase. Are you the one who brought us here? All right. I'll explain everything. The one who brought you to the streets was Guernica herself. More precisely, it was one of the last things she did before she finally snapped. Guernica has always been a fan of the Phantom Thieves. In fact, it's actually more of a kinship that she felt. Oh, okay. You know, I can see why that's the case. She's been fighting against herself this entire time, on the inside. It took everything she had to paint that mural in your world. Her last cry of desperation was to you, Phantom Thieves. So she wants the Phantom Thieves to help her get back to normal. Yeah, but she's not only trying to save herself, if Guernica fully gives in to the madness, she'll most likely begin producing her deadly art in your own world! Uh, oh no! Art with the power to kill? Even in our reality? Is something like that even possible? Everyone's hearts are connected. Guernica has the power to take the very image of death and... Well, this isn't something I can explain logically, but I'm telling you, she can do it! Sorry I can't put it in words. <sighs> if only we were able to confirm or deny that this is just some ploy. When it comes to trust, that's more your area of specialty. Care to weigh in for us? That's certain, eh? Well, I suppose I have no cause for objection. I'll go along with your decision. And I agree too, so that makes it unanimous. You're really going to help me? Oh, thank you! I'm so glad. Phantom Thieves really are as good as Guernica believes. Okay, let's go and get Guernica's first statement piece. Yeah! Oh, uh, but first, could you tell us your name? While we're at it, I'd definitely appreciate it if you could tell us more about yourself as well. Oh, I didn't introduce myself? My bad. I'm Luca. As for my identity, all you really need to know is this. I'm somebody trying to help Guernica. Oh, all right then. That works for me. <laughs> well, shall we get going? Oh, I forgot to mention. Guernica's statement piece was broken up into three slabs. So we're going to have to track down all three. Three of them? Sounds like we've got our work cut out for us. Come on, this will be a cinch for the Phantom Thieves. You shouldn't waste any more time. I'm opening the manhole. The graffiti's just past here. But security's gotten a lot tighter. Understandable, considering how we've crashed their scene. Such measures are only prudent. But still, what do we do? Want to sneak past them? So do I. Fortunately, there's plenty of cover here. I'd say avoiding unnecessary combat is wise. Look! I found it! Up there, on top of the 
trash heap. I don't see any guards. Now's our chance to take it. I should believe not, Luca. Why, you smug little bird brain bitch! I'm sick of you ruining everything! Foul mouthed as ever, aren't you? Clearly, you weren't raised right. Pardon me, but would you mind letting us by? We're just here to pick up some of the trash behind you. Well, if it isn't the boy from outside, quite an interesting turn of events you're aiding, Luca. But why exactly when the matter doesn't concern you? If you're looking for a way home, I could help you with that right now. Wait, don't believe anything she says. You can trust the devil before you trust her. Come now, don't speak such slander. This is just another one of your little schemes, like how you tricked Guernica. How many times must I tell you? All I've ever done is respect Guernica's wishes. The current state of the streets is entirely of her own doing. It's a lie! Guernica would never want things to be like this! Oh, you're quite the handful. Ah, I know. Excuse me, mop-headed boy. Would you be a dear and hand Luca over to me? If you do, I'll send you all back to your own world. A rather sweet deal, don't you agree? Any of you learn any manners? You seem to have misunderstood our goal here. We're putting a stop to Guernica. And so you know, attempts at manipulation put me in a bad mood. So you prefer to be dealt with by cruder means? Very well. Perhaps you'd enjoy this while you last. who chases me off. I can see how. He's well above the chaff we've been clearing out here. No avoiding this one. We'd better get ready. Really now? I may have underestimated you. Perhaps this is more to your liking. We don't have a chance against these numbers. Guys! Over here! Lucasan! I got everything ready while you were busy. Let's grab that slab and bounce! She's using a manhole to steal it? No! Stop them at once! Here it comes! Now! Let's go! How many times will we be doing this? Come on! Quickly! Everyone all right? I believe so. Quite the close shave, though. We were able to get part of Guernica's first piece. Thank you. Only two more to go. If we keep this up, we'll be done in no time. Yeah. But I'm even more grateful for something else. What's that? For having my back, and not just handing me over to Jerry. The smug parrot's proposition simply carried far too many risks. Not only that, crossing you on our deal wouldn't have sat well with me or the others. You're a stand-up guy, aren't you? Here I thought you were some heartless, hyper-rational bastard. Well, I'll just pretend I didn't hear that. By the way, just who is that Jerry, anyhow? Honestly, I have no idea. Everyone here is supposed to be born from some part of Guernica's heart. But I can't imagine any part of her being so... I know Guernica wasn't bonkers until that bird showed up. That's the one thing I'm sure of. Jerry mentioned something about fulfilling Guernica's wishes. Obviously she was lying. Guernica's a good person. She'd never do that to people on her own. Okay, we'll trust you when it comes to the real Guernica. We should focus on getting the other two slabs for Luca, right? Huh. Thank you. You're a good person, too. I could already tell you're kind of caring. Now I like you even more. <laughs> Thank you. Let's do our best out there. <laughs> Yoshizawa-san, ever the popular one.
You, uh, certainly have a way with words. All right, time to go track down the second piece. I know where it is. Let's get going. Where'd you flap off to, Jerry? Just a small errand. <laughs> so, come any further in staging your next masterpiece? Yeah, I've been real busy out there. <gasps> Crushing them to bits, laying them to ribbons, tearing them to shreds. <gasps> With every person I kill, I feel the void in my mind grow that much bigger. <gasps> then I fill that void with more of my rage. Burns in the most incredible way. Is this how birthing a masterpiece feels, Jerry? Yes, dear. You just keep honing that rage of yours. It's the only way you'll be able to recapture your first statement. A Guernica who fails to channel her fury with society into her art is no true Guernica at all. I'll be the true Guernica soon enough. And it's all thanks to you, Jerry. I'm awful glad you came my way. How kind of you, dearie. Oh, yes. I spotted the outsiders again while I was away. Those brats who ran off terrified? They're still around, huh? I imagine they could be a great source of inspiration. Perhaps you could track them down. Hmm, that does sound fun. Maybe I shouldn't have let them get away before. Find them right now! <laughs> Such an eager girl. How adorable. And once she takes care of the outsiders, nothing will be left in our way. Whoever those strange children may be, they won't interfere with the plan. This area is a real disaster. It's almost hard to breathe. Stay sharp. The enemies around here are especially brutal. Speak of the devil. That's quite a few of them. Get ready. Ah, that should be the last of them. You really gave it our all back there. Hopefully we can avoid any more combat in this area. That ruckus might have brought the wrong kind of attention. We'd better hurry. Ah, there you are. I've been looking for you. You're not getting away this time. One person we didn't want to find. Garnica! Well, look who's teamed up. Aren't I lucky? I've been sick of you getting in my way. Now I can crush you all into paste and paint with what's left. <laughs> Don't do it, Garnica! Just listen to me. Hold on. It's in no state for conversation like this. We have to stop her ourselves, don't we? Then let's do it! <laughs> oh, not bad, you guys. I have no clue who you are, but you're real fun. Gernica! They're the Phantom Thieves! They came here for you! Phantom Thieves? Rescue me? What's this about? I don't give a single shit about any phantom thieves, so I don't know what you're trying to pull. Does she not... Recognize the phantom thieves? Apparently not, which contradicts what we heard. That's not it! Kernicus just lost her memories! That's enough of your babbling! It's time to get back to the pain. You're not done here. I have to witness each one of your deaths! It would be best if we retreated for now. Right. Let's go. Uh, oh. The hell? Where are you going? I'm not done experimenting here. Hey! She's really something, isn't she? At least we got away, though. The second slab is really close by. Let's grab it and go. Try to stay unnoticed. Guernica's most likely still hunting us down here. Get it, 
before we're spotted. Wait, Kasumi! This place should be guarded. Look, there he is. He looks quite a bit tougher than the last one. We have to make this quick. We can't have Garnica catch up to us. That took more effort than expected. Now we should be able to get. Ah, finally found you. Awfully rude to leave without a goodbye. If you're gonna trespass in my streets, entertain me at the very least. You have to be kidding me. Kernika, step out of it already! How long are you going to? That won't work. We'll hold her back for you. Go get the slab! <sighs> Got it. Oh, more of this whispering. What's that you're hiding there? What? Some sorry excuse for art. I see you. You're dead. Wait! Garnica! Don't go, please! Just let her go. Sorry, she's lost it again. <sighs> she get that slab before she comes back to finish the job. Yeah, you're right. Downright trembling. Terry, I'm. I'm. What am I doing here? Why am I doing these things? Really now? Have you forgotten? All of this is simply what you wished for. You were slowly losing your artistic vision. No, your ability entirely. You attempted to get back to your roots. To rediscover your rage, remember? Yeah, that's one thing I do remember. A disgusting hellhole where the strong make excuses so they can shamelessly use and abuse the weak. That stupid goddamn world took the most important thing in my life! And that's why you created the streets, to find and stoke that fury. Eventually, Rage will burn so hot that it won't be contained within you. It will spread from person to person like wildfire until the entire world is nothing but cinders. Your wish is almost within your grasp. Understand? Yeah, I can tell that's what I want. And no mistakes there. But that's not all. What was it that I lost? No matter how hard I try, I can't remember. Ah, oh, Guernica. What does it matter what you've forgotten? <sighs> the flames have already been stoked. All that's left is to set them loose and watch the world burn. And it'll all be thanks to your precious artwork. Jerry, what's happening to me? 
Don't worry. I'm simply taking care of you. There's no need to worry about anything anymore. <laughs> We've almost finished the statement piece. Just one slab left to find. Once we've got that, Yernika's memory will return. If all goes according to plan, it wouldn't be wise for us to assume that'll happen. Right! All we can do is press onward and have faith. Let's see this through to the end. Sorry. Gonna have to depend on you guys for a bit longer. Don't worry about it. When we're in trouble, we help each other. That being said, there's something we should discuss. It's well past time for you to tell us about your relationship with Guernica. You're right. Sorry I kept you in the dark. Tell you everything. Yes. Please do. You see, I'm... I'm... Guernica's big sister. What?! Sorry? Would you mind elaborating on that? More accurately, I'm not exactly Guernica's sister. I'm more like a memory of her. What do you mean, a memory? The real Luca died a long time ago. I don't really remember how things ended, but I do remember being hungry and tired. How awful! Guernica and I were abandoned as kids. So no one wanted us. We had to live off whatever scraps we could scrounge up. We were just two more sewer rats living in the streets. People never even spared us a look, let alone any help. That's why Guernica and I started painting. Well, once we started painting, that became our whole world. We came across this one mural in a random back alley, and it inspired us to try making one ourselves. We worked on it all night long. We were so absorbed that we even forgot how hungry we were. It was a way for us to leave our mark, so we decided to make it as big as we could. So you're saying these slabs... They're the memory of the mural we had made together. That was her first statement piece. No matter how tough things got for Guernica, she always had that memory to keep her going. I think I understand. That statement piece was the foundation for her heart and soul. Yes. And once it was broken up and discarded, Guernica totally lost it. She was never like this before. If we can get all three of them, I know she'll be okay. Thank you. I certainly understand the mural's importance now. I only have one more question. Why did you hide your relationship with Guernica from us? Uh, well, that's... because... I was afraid you wouldn't believe me. You might just think I was secretly on Guernica's side. <laughs> that makes sense. Keep in mind, though, this isn't our first time in a bizarre world like this one. Not only that, we're all on the same side. You had no cause for worry with us. Jeez, I get it already. Do you just enjoy raking people over the coals like this? Oh, please excuse me. I may have let my work habits take over for a second there. Also, I believe I understand your situation quite well, considering this conflict between sisters. <sighs> I, um... I also understand. All too well. You see, I used to have a sister. Used to? A little while back, she... she lost her life in an accident. <sighs> the two of us were inseparable. No matter what one of us did, we both had to do it. But as we got older, we started to argue more. We didn't see everything eye to eye like we used to. Even though I still loved her like a sister. Whatever the reason, I had trouble getting her to understand me. <sighs> And while I was pining for the day when we could talk again like old times, in a sudden accident, when she died in that accident, that was the end. I had no idea. So that's why I want to help not only you, Lucasan, but Guernica as well. 
I know you're only a reflection of her memory, and that we can't actually bring you back for her. Still, the longer that Guernica's lost you from her heart, the more likely things will end badly for her. That's why I'm going to do everything I can to see you reunited with Guernica in her right mind. Maybe I'm just being selfish, but I can't stand to see you two sisters like this. That's not selfish at all. I was right before. You're a real nice gal. Yeah! Hip, hip, hooray! Ah, uh, hip, hip, hooray! <laughs> That's the spirit. All right, time to steal that last slap. The last slab we need should be close by. I don't know much about this area. I always got a bad feeling about it, so I steered clear. A bad feeling? It's hard to explain, but I just start feeling really agitated the longer I'm here. I see. It is strangely quiet here, huh? Hang on. I'm picking up a strange present. Wait, no. It's more like a really bad smell. Now that you mention it, it's faint, but I don't recognize it. That smell is death. What? It isn't just the smell. I can hear voices, the sounds of people suffering. Come on, we have to find them before it's too late. Hold on. How can we be certain the fragments in that direction? <sighs> I'm willing to bet going that way would lead us to a fight. The more fatigued we grow, the harder it will be to reclaim the last slab. With that in mind, don't you think it'll actually be harder to save Guernica? I admit, that is true. Still, everyone getting killed here is a part of Guernica's heart. I can never leave them like that. At this rate, Guernica's... Please, please, I'm begging you. Help me save Guernica before it's too late. Luca-san. Akechi-san, I believe we should help her. It may not be the practical decision, but even so... Yoshisawa-san, this is a problem. Say, what's your call here? I admit, I hadn't considered the consequences on Guernica's own heart here. Fair point? I suppose it could be an issue. Fine, we'll start off in that direction. Tread carefully, though, and be prepared for anything. That you didn't expect that from a hyper-rational bastard, did you? Yeah, I sure didn't. Come on, guys. <laughs> catchy son. Don't sweat it. Guys, guys! Over here! This is where the smell is coming. From? Wait, Luka-san! Don't get too far ahead of us! Running your mouth like you know me, you little shit. Garnica! If it isn't all the children hassling us, how convenient. Here's an idea. Why don't you top off the corpse pile with their bodies? Terry! What the hell have you done? I've told you time and time again. Everything here is thanks to Garnica's wish. She wished for this? Yes. This is the exact sight Guernica has always longed to see. Guernica's artistic vision is born from fury, and her rage will drive the masses to a frenzy. Soon they'll shake off their yoke of oppression, then obliterate their own diseased society. The end result? A tower of corpses piled so high, it reaches the very heavens. Understand now? Guernica built the streets to create what you see here, in the real world. No, no, no! Guernica would never wish for something like that! What makes you think you know anything about me? I'm finally about to make my wish a reality. 
Guernica, don't be stupid. You've only been killing your own heart. Why can't you see how much this is making you suffer? This is exactly what I need. Channeling my hatred to blot out the past. All the pain that I've been put through. It's time society got its own taste. Exactly. And there's only one thing left to do first. Those kids, especially that brat. We have to kill them all. Wait just a second, Guernica. It's Luca. She's... Can't you remember that she's your sister? Somewhere deep inside? I don't have any damn sisters. And even if I did, I don't care. All that matters now is my dream. Relatives mean nothing to me. Get in my way and I'll kill you. <sighs> no, you won't. Huh? How could you even think of killing your sister? To just take her life and never see her again? No matter what you do, I'm going to make you regret thinking that way. What the hell's with her? She's not making sense. The kid's not... <laughs> Anyone standing in your way is an enemy. Someone who must be cut down. Yes. I have to. I have to kill them. Every last one. I'm gonna kill them. Yernika san, we're going to save you. Count on it. Damn it! Why oh, won't they? How am I not the strongest person in the streets? Ah, uh, shit! What's wrong with me? There's something wrong with Guernica now. Have you noticed as well? I did. It's like she started holding back when attacking. What is it, Guernica? Why are you pulling your punches? Like... like I would do that? Then pull yourself together. You're making a right mess of things here. Jeez, I know, says it. My head. It's splitting. Yernika, she's not going to make it. Good grief. Can't even make the finishing touches. Get up right now. Go over there and kill them. <laughs> Guernica, I'm coming to save you! You there! Don't let them even get near her! Now, let's go home. You're overdue for your final lesson. <sighs> Guernica, don't go! Get back here, Cherry! Lucasan, come back! Don't charge right into them! Too many of them. Retreats off the table. Well, we're not going down here. Let's push through them. Kernika and Jerry slipped away. I'm sorry. I was really hoping we could save Guernica. Don't apologize. You've been a huge help here. Besides, Guernica's not done for just yet. That bird may be putting her through the ringer, but you can tell she's still fighting it. Jerry is indeed manipulating Guernica in some way. We've seen it with our own eyes now. But the question remains, why exactly is Jerry doing this? At this point, I'm more curious of Jerry's identity than ever. That's impossible! Uh, and it's not like I'm just saying that either. It's more like, it just doesn't fit. When you listen to Jerry, Yernica was never that snobby. Well, I suppose we won't find any answers here. We can always figure Jerry out later anyway. Once we've helped Guernica, it should be easy. We need the third slab to do that. Do you know where it is? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I sense it. Over there. There it is, the last slab. Just grab it and head out, right? Hey, can you hear that? <gasps> Beneath us! Something's coming our way! 
Ah, I knew it wouldn't be so easy. We're so close to finishing this. No one's going to stop us. We did it. With them out of the way, let's finish this. Right. Let's get that final slab. Yes. Got it. Thank you, Phantom Thieves. If it wasn't for you three, I don't know. Don't thank us just yet. We should get out of here first. Ah, good point! We finally have all three pieces! This has been a long time coming. Finally, the first mural Tao ever made. Tao? That's Guernica's real name. I swore I'd always be there to protect her. But then... I left her behind. I can't even describe how impressive Tao is. She had to have suffered so much when I was gone. She had every right to be furious. But Tao always stayed strong. She never broke her promise to me. Luka-san... You really believe in your sister, don't you? Of course I do. She's way stronger than I am. And now that we've reassembled our mural... I'm gonna go find Tao. It's time for her big sis to teach her a lesson. <laughs> we should go too. Guernica asked for our help. to open a manhole directly in their base. Get good and ready. Another reason why artists disgust me. Do you all really need so much coddling? What are you saying? Jerry? I've gone through so much trouble to break you, yet you still retain some vestige of your true art. Anyone else would be completely under my control by now. You have no idea how annoying this is. No. No, Jerry. How could you? Really? No matter how many times I try breaking you, you just won't let her go. Well, that's neither here nor there. I'll just scrub as much of your mind as I can. And I'll wipe your precious sister out soon enough as well. I'll make it quite the spectacle for you. No. 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 <laughs> now let's get you ready, Gernica. We have important guests to receive. It's almost time for the grand finale! All right, this is it. Strange, this place is in great condition. Nothing like the rest of the streets. It certainly is unsettling to see such a drastic difference. Greetings, we've been expecting you. Go! Give me back my sister! You speak as if I'm holding her against her will. Look, she's come to greet you as well. <sighs> Guernica? What's wrong? Die. Too late? I'm gonna spread you all over this place! 
Here she comes! True colors are showing. We scurried all over the streets to get this for you, Tao. Remember our first mural? from it. That was the promise we made together. That's good. Now I am ready. No, sis! I can't lose you again! Please! I can't! I can't! Don't be so clingy, Tao. Remember, I'll live on through our promise. As long as you keep it. <sighs> and that's why I know we'll be fine. Yeah, we will. Well, see ya.
later. What in the... Gernica shouldn't be able to recover like that. This can't happen. Well, it has. And you'll never understand how. So what's next? Personally, I'd recommend surrendering. Jerry. Gernica, these wretches stand in the way of your dream. They are enemies of art. You must kill them or... Jerry, what the hell did you do to me? What did you do to my sister? There's only one thing you got right about me. My art is fueled by my rage. But my rage is at my own mistreatment. At what all the outcasts of society has suffered. How would killing everyone in the world solve that? Jerry, you manipulated me, didn't you? What a joke. And a poor one at that. What was that? You heard me. Who even gives a shit about art? Absolute dolts who like feeling smart. People with pointless lives. You do it for representation? To speak for the unheard? There's a reason nobody listens to street trash. All you've done is hide your self-gratification with a punk-flavored sugar coating of empathy. You're full of shit! Tell me, what the hell do you even want with me anyway? I need your ability to influence others. It's the linchpin to my plan. I'm going to amass every single pathetic human on Earth and burn them alive through their precious art. Soon, there'll be nothing but a serene world of ash and silence. It sounds as if you've concocted a plan to eliminate those you can't understand. If I may be frank, you're highly delusional. Stupid little human. You put on your intellectual airs, but you can't even grasp the things I see. So you're that superior, eh? Let me guess. Don't speak of things you can't comprehend. This chit-chat has grown pointless. I'm merely here to carry out my duty. And I kill anything that gets in my way. Oh, Gerica. You, I'm going to spare. When this is done, we'll have ourselves a nice, fresh start. We'll start off by scrubbing your mind until there isn't a single trace of your sister left in your memory. You're dead! You guys... We made a promise to your sister. We've got your back. Uh, thank you. I tire of this farce. It's time to reveal my true glory. Entirely. Such lonely pea brains. I am the architect of the streets. Everything you see here only exists because I willed it so. To think that such lowly beings as yourselves stand any chance against me is absolutely laughable. You think you're the boss here? Don't make me laugh. What's so amusing? Nice try, bluffing, Jim. You really control me. Why didn't you just wipe Luca out yourself? Shut your mouth. This is a spiritual world built from the mind. The imagination sets the rules here. The memory of my big sis was the one thing you couldn't ever control. That's why you were played with me. Charge of the streets, and you just watched me prove you wrong. Cease this tantrum. A lonely human like you has no place to find me. Try to stop me all you like. I'm still in control of this world. Of this world. How dare you cover up my fine work? 
worse than insulting them. It's a downright desecration. Desecration? <laughs> Don't get so worked up. This is just the law of the land for street art, you know? Anything that looks like shit is fair game to cover up. Wow. You disgusting lowly humans. That's a thief. by humans before we wrap this up would you mind telling us whose orders you've been following I am no I've not been granted permission to reveal the truth what a pity to think I'd fall short of my duty over something so pointless as art you talk an awful lot of shit about art. But you still recognized my ability, didn't you? Oh. You may be a rotten, miserable thing. But even still, you got my art. On that point alone, I think we were able to see eye to eye. Artists are such unbelievable nitwits. Can't even bring yourself to hate me properly. Gernica, you silly child. So we'll never find out who she really was? Eh, <sighs> doesn't do us any good thinking about it now. Well, I'm glad you're okay now, Gernica-san. Sorry, tell san Gernica's just fine. You're the only ones who know my old name. I'm both Tao and Gernica. Plus, I've got Luca with me. Big Sis is right here in my heart. I know that for a fact. She's... in your heart. What's wrong? Are you crying? Hmm? What? Why am I... I'm sorry. Please, don't mind me. More importantly, what are you going to do now, Gernika-san? The same thing I always do. Keep making art for all the poor saps out there. People just like me. And for all the bastards who trample us and make sure we're never heard. I'll get right up in their faces. But I imagine that won't sit well with certain folks. Considering your artistic reputation, it wouldn't be impossible for you to shift into mainstream success. But I wager that would go against your principles. Yep, you called it. I have to keep my promise to Luca. And there are others. People who showed me kindness out on the street. I'm walking this path for them until there's not another step left in front of me. <laughs> well, I'm already a big fan of the Phantom Thieves. So now we're just even. All right then, it's about time we say goodbye. Send you all back home. We'll miss you, Kernika-san. Luka-san, too. Same here. Catch you later, Phantom Thieves. And thanks again. I'm sure our paths will cross again at some point. Even if we forget this moment. Forgive me. I lacked the strength to fulfill my duty. Yes, I understand. Destruction and chaos are certainly contrary to your will. I will wholly accept my return to the Void, along with all my things. As I return to the Void, 
I shall pray that your desire for a harmonious world will be brought to fruition. A tranquility going out to all the earth. Sana, and you as well. I came here to investigate the graffiti, then... Wait, what the... Where did it go? There's no graffiti here. You know, I've actually got the same feeling that there used to be something here. Awfully optimistic. Collective amnesia's a pretty big deal, if you ask my opinion. Although, I think I kind of agree. It's like there's a gap in my memory, but for some reason it's not concerning. <laughs> At any rate, it appears I'm back to square one in my investigation. I'll be heading off now. All right, take care. We should get going too, huh? I'll see you at school. Impossible. A colossal mural covering the entire front of a government building. Despite the high security, this work was completed in a single night. Experts have already weighed in. This is unmistakably the work of Guernica. A public work of this scale has not been seen before. Many are already claiming that this will propel Guernica to international fame. finally taking notice. When our paths cross again, it'll be with a smile. Some are calling for the graffiti's immediate removal, while others, both locally and abroad, are demanding its preservation. While removing and replacing the entire facade would be impossible, alternative solutions are currently flying about. Man, this has the whole city freaking out. It's on all the channels. I never expected someone else out there to pull our kind of stunts. An expert now, huh? But I do agree with you. There's something about it that just grabs you. By the way, you seem awfully cheerful. Whew, we need to get going. We don't want to make the chief flip his lid.
The benefits and drawbacks of the mural's removal will be discussed in a public press conference this afternoon. Goodness gracious, this must be a right nuisance for the governor. Statesmen like yourself should avoid getting involved in trivial matters such as these. A leader of the masses must always hold sight of the big picture. Understand, Toshiro? Yes, of course, Father. Hmm. Do you, though? You seem rather fascinated by the whole affair. I'm merely considering the precarious position that the governor finds himself in. Here the political world is on the cusp of change, and now he's being tripped up by some petty vandalism. So long as you understand the situation, 